receptive negative breast cancer, a quadruple threat. Cancer is an umbrella term for a group of complex diseases that can most accurately be described by abnormal cell growth. This uncontrolled cell growth can be the result of a multitude of factors, including increased cell growth signaling and inactivation of cell cycle regulation checkpoints. When this cell growth goes unchecked, it can result in tumors, which have the ability to spread around the body, becoming metastatic. Worldwide, approximately 40% of people will be diagnosed with some form of cancer in their lifetime. And in 2018, 9.6 million people died due to cancer and cancer-related illnesses. To put that into perspective, that number is approximately one quarter the current population of Canada. Cancers are generally classified by which area of the body they are observed in. Of the over 100 recognized types of cancer that affect humans, the most prevalent type is that of breast cancer. Breast cancer has approximately 15 subtypes and presents with 2.09 million new cases every year. It is the most common cancer in women, and additionally it is seen in men, but to a lesser extent. These breast cancer subtypes can be classified depending on the location within the breast, treatments they respond to, and cancer cell analysis, where doctors take a sample of the cancer to analyze it further in the lab. Treatments typically used in cancer include surgery to cut out the tumor, targeted radiation to kill the cancerous cells, and chemotherapy which is a drug administered that helps to destroy rapidly dividing cells like cancer. In breast cancer, we can also use a treatment called hormone therapy. Both regular healthy cells as well as cancer cells express special proteins on their cell surface, known as receptors. When diagnosing breast cancer, we can use the receptors expressed on the cell surface to help classify it and treat it further. When talking about receptors and hormone therapy, the three most important receptors on a breast cancer cell are the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, and the human epidermal growth factor 2 receptor. Receptors are proteins expressed on the surface of cells that help to control cellular function. You can think of receptors like mailboxes, which the cell receives packages and information through that it uses in cellular processes. Depending on the content of what the receptor receives, it can either help a cell grow, interfere with other cellular processes, or cause a cell to stop growing. Hormone therapy in the treatment of breast cancer works by disrupting the signals received through these receptor mailboxes that cause the cancer cell to grow. Hormone therapy can therefore be simplified into two processes. Number one is blocking the mailbox with spam so that the regular mail can't get through and the signal can't be delivered. And number two, eliminating the package in the first place so that there's no signal sent through the mailbox. Therefore, if a cell has any one of these receptors or mailboxes, we can understand how it grows. But what happens if a cancer cell presents with none of these receptors? If a cancer presents with none of these three receptor mailboxes, it is deemed what's known as triple negative cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is much more difficult to treat because it's difficult to understand where it's getting the signals it needs to grow. Unfortunately, one in five breast cancer diagnoses appear to be of the triple negative subtype. Triple negative breast cancer is more dangerous and presents with a 40% mortality rate over the course of five years from diagnosis. This is due in part to the fact that triple negative breast cancer is much more aggressive and progresses at a faster rate. This unfortunately results in the diagnoses of triple negative breast cancer happening when the disease is already in a late stage, making it much more difficult to treat for the long term.
That's not to say that all hope is lost for triple negative breast cancer. Recently, another mailbox, the androgen receptor, has been found to be associated with triple negative breast cancer. Hormone therapy using the androgen receptor is a hot topic in breast cancer literature right now, and current therapies are being developed to treat triple negative breast cancer through the androgen receptor. Unfortunately, a new subtype of cancer characterized in the past 10 years is negative for all four of these receptors. This is known as quadruple negative breast cancer. When compared to triple negative breast cancer, quadruple negative breast cancer is diagnosed at an even younger age and presents as a more aggressive type of cancer. It is also insensitive to typical chemotherapy treatments, resulting in the worst prognosis. There is currently no effective treatment for quadruple negative breast cancer. Quadruple negative breast cancer is extremely difficult to treat due to the fact that there are no receptors to be targeted through hormone therapy. As such, hormone therapy may never be an option to treat quadruple negative breast cancer. New treatments are in development for quadruple negative breast cancer, focusing on unique proteins found on surfaces of quadruple negative cells as specific targeting mechanisms for possible treatment pathways. The best thing anyone can do to combat breast cancer is to check yourself for any signs and symptoms frequently. Early detection of breast cancer is the most effective way to increase the likelihood that treatment works, as earlier detection has a high correlation with more optimistic prognoses. Possible signs of breast cancer include a lump, a thickening inside the breast or the underarm, swelling, warmth, or redness or darkening of the skin, sudden change in shape or size of the breast, dimpling or puckering of the skin, unprovoked itchy scaled rash on the nipple, deformation or pulling of the nipple, sudden discharge, and new pain in one spot that does not go away. Cancer research and cancer treatments are as important now more than ever, with an aging population being more susceptible to breast cancer. The most important thing that you as an individual can do is to check yourself regularly and be aware of your own body. And if you have any concerns, ask your doctor for more information. We hope you learned something new about breast cancer today. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel to keep up to date on all things demystifying medicine.